Hello everyone and welcome to EDT 503. Uh, this is a brief intro video uh, to give you information about the course and how it's set up and the expectations. And I will do this on a weekly basis for you so you'll always know what's expected. I'm Ron Kotlick, the instructor for this course, and I'm really excited to work with everyone this semester. And what I'm doing right now is a screencast. I'm using a uh, tool called Snagit and I'm actually recording my screen, recording my audio. Uh, so again, this is a great tool you can use with your own students uh, for giving directions, for a flipped classroom, for feedback on an assignment. So we'll always use uh, these sort of technologies as a great demonstration tools uh, for your own classroom. So let's start off with Emoto. Here we are in Emoto. Um, I have it set up in modules, so we have you know eight weeks to kind of go through. You only see week one at first. Okay, so the way it works out is you have uh, your posts. Uh, so I'm in the post section, and I always pin the introduction post so read through all this, then there's this action sheet which we'll get to. Then I have some information down here and assignments for the week. So this is how this all works out. So as you go through everything, you know, people are going to be adding posts. Uh, information like assignments will be at the bottom of the feed. Uh, but I always try to pin some of the most current material so that's always at the top of, of the feed. Okay. I also use folders in Emoto. So you click on the folders button and uh, I'll go back through this a little bit later again as we talk about what the expectations are for the week. Uh, let me let the folder load up here, a little slow. Here we go. And here's the folder for the week. I have all the you know articles and assignments and the syllabus. Uh, there is one problem with the Moto. They have sort of changed their setup in the past year and I still can't shift the order of files, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but uh, so be be aware of that. So it might look a little bit you know unorganized in a sense, but it actually isn't my fault. <laughs> so I apologize. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the actual syllabus. So if you actually clicked in the folder, the first file there is the syllabus. Uh, here's sort of the expectations for the course and what we're going to be doing together. I'm not going to read through it word for word here, obviously. Uh, but here's a course description. There is a field experience for EDT 503 where you're going to spend 10 hours observing and meeting with an instructor and really talking about what's available for technology and this is going to all tie in with the big common assignment for the class. Okay, uh, The objectives, uh, writing is huge. Now what we talk about here is participation in, in, this, in this course. Uh, what we usually do is work on a Wednesday Sunday schedule so usually we'll have students post their initial response to the prompt for the week on a Wednesday and then you'll have to the following Sunday to reply to at least two other students' posts. That's like a minimum, at least. So again, if you always want three or four, that will give you a higher grade in the course. The more active you are responding, posting. And again, please read through this. It's not just about, you know, this isn't a Facebook post or a tweet. Uh, these are in-depth posts. You, know, you cite APA, you know, sources, and you go through in depth. And so the replies are also, you know, fairly sophisticated as, as well. All right, so this all explains all that. Then, depending on the week, we have something called a deliverable, something that's like a written work or deliverable. Maybe you're making a screencast, maybe you're making a podcast, maybe you're making something. Uh, that's always due on a Sunday as well. Okay, uh, so read through all that, please, and, about, and complete some plagiarism. There's the grade breakdown. Uh, this is the rubric for anything that's written in, in the course. Okay, so it's a kind of a nice overview of how we sort of break it down for written deliverables. This is the discussion rubric. This is a very important one, obviously. Uh, so you please go through this. You know, so what are the expectations for the weekly discussions? Okay. And this is the common assignment for the portfolio. Uh, again, we have every course in this program has a common assignment, a larger sort of capstone assignment. And you know, the really big part of this is that you're going to you know, be working with others in a group assignment for ET503. This will be an online group project. And we'll get more into that. And that can cause some people a lot of anxiety, especially online, especially in the fast pace. But it's a great, great opportunity to really, you know, not only experience that anxiety. So when you're working with your own students, you understand, you know, what works well, what didn't work well. How can I teach my own students to work collaboratively with technology? And there's so many tools out there that we're going to talk about that will help facilitate this for you. So please read through this. I'm going to go through it right, right now, obviously, uh, but you're going to be kind of in a scenario where you're on like a technology committee and you're going to be assessing what technology is available in your school or in the group, what school you're going to use. And then you're going to put together sort of a, uh, a, a neat sort of, a, should, I, should I say, innovative way to share this material with us. And we'll talk about all that as we go as we go through. And you're going to make a presentation and uh, you make some example learning units or modules and lessons that have technology 
in them. Uh, so this is all kind of works out well. And this is the timeline for it. Right away next week, we're going to start forming groups. That's going to be the, kind of like the big, big part of week two. And then these are the directions for week three. And then week six is when most of it's actually due. And week seven, we sort of have like a reflection on it. So we'll get we'll get into all that, the objectives. Everything we do in this most in this program is tied to the ISTE standards, the International Society for Technology and, and Education. It's a big part of what we do. Uh, so those are all the ISTE standards, and this is the rubric for uh, the co for that common assignment. So you can kind of go through the rubric and what we're actually looking for uh, for this particular project. It's a big part of the course, and that's where we have it. Okay, so um, more rubrics for the project. Now at the end of the syllabus here is sort of a um, breakdown for like what we're going to do over these eight weeks. So the first week is introduction. It's also about learning theories and technology. I know that's something that's review for a lot of you. Uh, so it's, it's a good way just to kind of dive in. You're used to using Enmodo, some reviewing, some learning theories, and then we really dive into more technology tools and you know, collaboration uh, coming up. Uh, we talk about things like you know working with Google Docs and working with things like Dropbox, Drive, uh, creating things like iTunes, iBooks, and things like that. Uh, that's kind of a neat week. And then week three, we talk about podcasting and screencasting in the flipped classroom. Uh, week four, we talk about mobile devices in the, in the classroom. Week five, a little technology tools for Common Core. Uh, then week six, we do something on group project evaluations. And then week seven, sort of a neat uh, interactive experience using social media in the classroom. And then reflections. Okay. So these are some information that kind of goes over all of that. This is the join information for Edmodo. Okay which is good. Uh, turnin.com is a great tool we're going to use that I actually collect work through turnin.com. I can grade it, I can assess it, I can give you feedback. Uh, so it's a wonderful tool. And then we'll also, and the password is Fort Niagara. Uh, in my introduction I go through what I do, but um, I'm actually a, also a history teacher. Uh, in size to my work at the college, I work at Clarence High School teaching history to high schools, uh, mostly juniors. Teach course in American military history. I used to work at Fort Niagara uh, years ago as a British soldier firing cannons and things like that and muskets. So it's sort of a nice, neat place for, for me. Uh, so that's that's the password. So we're also going to use Noodle Tools as well to create citations and bibliography. It's a great tool if you're not really accustomed to using APA uh, as a citation uh, sort of um, set that we're going to use for the course. So this is a great, great tool that helps you guide you making all your citations properly. All right. So that's. The syllabus. Okay, so what I'm also going to show you now is an action sheet. If you go back to the posts, um, I always post an action sheet. This is sort of like the weekly hello and what's expected. So here's the action sheet. This is the video where the action is right now. So you can always go back to it. I said read the syllabus again. I think that's extremely important. Go over it carefully. Okay, we also created this Edmodo orientation sheet. Uh, so it gives you great insight how to use Edmodo and how to post and how to do everything that we're going to be doing together. So basically, you're going to read the articles in the websites contain the week one folder on learning theories. Okay, so if you go back to Edmodo, I show you some scrum, some screenshots here. Uh, if you go back to Edmodo, you go to the top here. There's folders. We'll click on that again, and you click on the folder. And I have some things on constructivism. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, this is the technologies handbook for the for the program. This is about noodle tools. It's technology survey, some setups, some of the free database from the college, and also some free. Um, publications for technology that you can use for finding your own sources. But then I use this Wikipedia article on constructivism. Every once in a while, students are stuck. Well, you're using Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a fine source if it's if it's if it's really if it's well cited. And these are really well cited articles. And look through the citations at the end of the articles because they give you more resources uh, to explore these learning theories further. Um, another one about UDL toolkit. Okay, and CAST and UDL is a great great. Um, sort of learning theory. Okay, actually, if you go back to the posts, I also posted here. Um, I think later on, I had some great opportunity to work with Grant Wiggins, who does this understanding by design. Um, Grant Wiggins actually passed away. He was our the last one to offer a workshop. We were the last one to actually um, experience his talents. And there's a great, great ideas here about you know his ideas of backward design and how to create curriculum and learning theories as well. So there's a little extra resources there in the posts. So you're gonna read through all that. Not all of it. I mean, you can just pick and choose what really works well for you. Okay, and this is the prompt for the week. So you're gonna, this is what we're gonna, you're gonna base your discussions on. So really want your experience with these learning theories, what your reactions to them, and so forth. And you're gonna post to the week one group wall by Wednesday. Now I have some links here how to tell you how to submit a post. Okay, 
and you're also going to turn in a proof of post. And this is sort of a weird thing here. And there's a screencast that shows how to actually do that. That was made by another professor in the program. So here's how this works. So by Wednesday, you're always posting to the week that we're in. Um, I'll put a post here. Never post to the main wall of our of our of our group here. Did I say that? Please don't post there. So week one, you're gonna you know click on week one, right? And you're gonna post right here. Okay, I'll just do a test post. Okay, when you're done with your post, you just press send. Now, oftentimes I encourage students to maybe either compose their post in a Word or a Google Doc and either and paste that into this. Because something happens, you hit the back button, uh, you're gonna lose your post. And you press send. You can always upload files and links. Okay, I'm gonna press send. So this is a test post. Now, everybody can see this post now. But I also want you to turn in proof of post. Go back to the action sheet. It says that turn in proof of post. What does that mean? Well, when you click on the little like here here you're going to something called a link to a post you're going to click on link to post and you're going to get that and you're going to control c copy it okay and what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the end of the feed where it has the turn in button for the module one post so the, on the bottom of the feed turned in you're going to click on this now there's no one in the course yet and this is a little look different for you but you're going to have a place here to submit that link now why, why do i do this um, you have to submit to the wall so everybody can see it, but I also want to give you private feedback so that only you and I can sort of interact about your post. That's why we do both. So please you know, keep on following that sort of uh, direction, okay? So that's how we're going to do it. Let me delete this post so everybody doesn't know what that is later. All right, okay, delete it. Great. Okay, so that's how that works. So back to the action sheet. So that's all due by Thursday. Now usually we're due by Wednesday, but because we're starting on a Monday and you know things are fast paced, we're gonna give you an extra day. All right, and then by the Sunday the fourth, you're gonna complete a technology survey. It's a Google Cert form. It's about what you're familiar with with technology. You're gonna post a virtual get to know to the group. An overview of who you are, what what you're teaching, family, hobbies, that sort of thing. It could be a post. But again, if you really want to show off your talents, you want to do a screencast, you want to do an audio, you want to do some Prezi, PowerPoint, maybe you know something like some other things like Animoto, some other great, great tools, you can use anything you want and you're going to post it. Same idea. You're going to post to the wall so everybody can see it. And then you're going to go down the bottom and there's an assignment drop for that. You're going to post it there as well. Okay. And then you can register for Noodle Tools and turn it in. Uh, all of that was at the very end of the syllabus, right? All the join codes were all there for turn in and noodle tools, okay? And then you're going to post reply to other students' initial discussion posts, feedback, reactions, your thoughts. Again, minimum of two. We always want to strive to go beyond that. So that's our first week together. So I hope this helps you, uh, give you a great sense of how we use it in Moto and how the course will work. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'm really looking forward to working with everyone this semester, okay? All right. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.